Okay, so really we could uh, leave our form like this. But uh, when doing things like passwords, we, we really want to make sure we verify it. That way somebody didn't accidentally have a typo when they typed in the password field and then create a password that they don't know. Um, we also want to make sure we turn this into a password input type so that this is uh, hidden. So let's go back to Uptana. Let's go to users.php and scroll down to this password field. And for type, we're going to change that from text to password. And that's good. Now we need to create a second one of these inputs. So we'll just go ahead and copy this whole group and paste it below. And we'll just change this to verify password. And we'll change the placeholder to type password again. And uh, now we need to change the name and ID and all that. So let's go ahead and let's just call this password V for verify. So we'll just put a V after name and ID. And make sure you do it for the four as well. So we'll save that. Now we need to modify our queries.php to check against that. So we're going to do that here inside of our if password is not an empty string. So let's hit enter after that. Give ourselves some space here. So what we need to do is make sure that those values are the same. So we need to do another if. So if post password is equal to post password v then do something and we're going to go ahead and move and we're going to go ahead and move that password variable that we created inside here So that takes care of the update. However, what about users? So that takes care of our update query, but what about our insert query? Now for our insert query, we don't actually need to um, do the same thing that we did for the update. Because we want the update to run no matter what even if they didn't put a password in, we still want it to run. However, for insert, we really don't want to put a user in there unless they have a password. So we actually want the query itself to not run if a password was not given. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and let's create a variable called, uh, we'll call it verify, and we'll make it equal to true which true is a little different than a string. We could have we could have actually put a 1 or a 0 in here, but I wanted to show you that you can use true and false as well. So verify is true. But we also need to do an else. So we need to do else. And in this case, verify going to equal false. Now you would think that we're done here, but we're not. Because this just checks to make sure that the two passwords match, which is important. We want to know that. However, we also want to make sure that we don't insert anything if the uh, password field is blank. So we're going to do an else after that if as well. verify equals false because we don't want that to run either 
However, we could run into a situation here. So now let's go down to our insert query. And in our else statement, let's do if verify is equal to true and do something. And we're going to go ahead and take this query and paste it in there. Let's go ahead and move add it up above that. So that's good. 